Hello everyone, in this video I'll discuss post-implementation activities. The learning objective for this video is as follows. After watching, students should be able to describe various important post-installation processes. Institutionalizing the system is an important step of implementing. While it's been a lot of work analyzing, designing, and installing the system, it's important that that system has the continuous support and maintenance to make it successful over the long term. There are three key steps in institutionalizing the system. First, providing support, which means assistance in using the system. Second, providing maintenance, which could include repairing or fixing discovered bugs or errors in the system, as well as adding minor enhancements to provide added value, as well as assessing the project to analyze what was done well and what could be done better in the future when new and other systems are implemented. First, I'll mention system support. System support can include on-demand training at the time of user need. It can also include online support, such as frequently asked questions pages. Most large organizations will include help from the IT help desk. Usually IT help desk should provide phone service for known issues, and about 80% of known issues should be able to be resolved by level one support, those who answer the phones at the help desk. About 20% of issues might require more in-depth expertise than that held by the level one help desk technicians. These should be passed on to level two support specialists. Indeed, this was the case in many of the help desks where I worked at while I was in college. Second is maintenance. There are many different sources of change requests that can lead to minor improvements in the system. First, problem reports from the operations group. These would be problem reports that are not resolved by level one or level two technicians that require change in the underlying code or installation of the system. A second source of change requests are requests for enhancements from the users, from other systems development projects, as well as from senior management. In many cases, these new requests for enhancement will follow the same steps that we followed throughout this entire semester. Finally, it's important to assess the project. This is important for continued project improvement. Project assessment isn't common in every organization, but it should be. At the end of the project, the project manager should assess whether the cost estimates were accurate, whether expected benefits actually materialized, and whether the project in the end really was worth doing. This information can be used to more accurately estimate costs and benefits in future projects. Once you've completed this class in another week or two, I'd encourage you to go back and assess the project. How well do you think you did in the project? What could you have improved? What did you learn from it? Hopefully you can take not only the material and content from this class, but also the successes and the mistakes that you made and learned from in order to help you improve in the projects that you'll see in the real world in the future.